welcome back to my kitchen you guys it is Louisiana crunch pound cake time I had to do some research on this recipe another highly requested recipe because again it's one I've never done so in my research there were some people that made this cake with coconut only there were some people that made it with coconut and almonds some who made it with coconut and pecans so you guys I decided on the coconut and pecans now I'm very particular about and funny about um, texture and don't necessarily care for a lot of coconut or pecans but again remember once this cake is done we give it away so it's really not about what I like okay but I decided on the coconut and pecans but what I also realized in my research and I could have missed it I didn't see anybody toasting coconut or the pecans again I could have missed it I could have missed it but honey we have toasted coconut and pecans when you toast the coconut it brings out even more the sweetness of that coconut and then the pecans the nuttiness nut, nut, nutness. what is that nuttiness <laughs> of the pecans so I always toast I think when I first started doing cake videos couple of years ago and I did that sweet potato pound cake y'all I did not toast my pecans and then at some point there was some recipe that I did where I had to toast the pecans oh my goodness you guys the difference in the taste of the pecans y'all toast your nuts okay always so we toasted for about five to seven minutes on 350 degrees make sure you just keep an eye on it okay and then I kind of turned my coconut a little bit to get it you know as toasty as I wanted it. Now, what I'm also going to do with these pecans and, um, I was going to say pecans and walnuts, pecans and coconut, because I don't, like I say, I'm funny about texture. So, while I'm mixing up the cake, I'm also going to pulse them a little bit in my Ninja to kind of, you know, get it a little more fine. Okay? So I don't want to be chunks of coconut but you don't have to do that of course you need to do something with the pecan halves because they are too big you need to kind of chop those or you know get them a lot smaller but as far as the coconut if you don't want to do that you don't have to you can leave the coconut like it is okay so the other ingredient I have about a cup of each a cup of coconut and about a cup of uh, pecan so whatever you like now, we also have three cups of swans down cake flour. And you guys, I'm going to be doing, I started in my last video with the million dollar pound cake. You know, kind of doing a little different stuff with how I mix up my ingredients, okay? So we have three cups of swans down cake flour. And to that, I've added half teaspoon of baking powder, okay? So I've already added that here. And then I sifted it one more time, okay? Now, I also use that one fourth teaspoon of salt, but I'm going to add that when I add my extracts, okay? Now, Swan's Down comes pre-sifted in the box, but like I say, once I add that baking powder, I like to sift it one more time. And then we have three cups of sugar. I will be using one cup of buttermilk and it is room temperature and then I have half cup of now let me grab my sour cream over here I have half cup of sour cream and it too is room temperature here yeah, I didn't want to turn the camera off half cup of sour cream and then I have five eggs here that are also room temperature and I've already cracked them they're five large eggs then we have three sticks of unsalted softened butter and it they are also room temperature let's see then I have one fourth cup of granulated sugar that I'm going to use on the inside of my cake pan before I put the batter in for my extracts I'm going to use about a tablespoon uh, or more 
of this pure vanilla extract, about a teaspoon of this coconut extract, and just a little dab of my cream bouquet. And you guys, when I use my cream bouquet, it's not necessary. So don't feel like if you don't have cream bouquet, you can't do this recipe. It's not necessary. Okay. I just like how it enhances my cake flavor. All right. Oh, and back to the pecan. Sophira, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing your name right. Girl, your pecans came in clutch. Pecans that you sent me from your sister's tree. I actually had to crack these pecans. And that's this is where I got my one cup of pecans. So I have about half bag left. But thank you, girl. Okay. Let's see. Is that it? Let me peep this little recipe because I had to tweak it and, you know, do my own thing. I think that is everything. Let me turn my oven on. Oven, we will be making this at 325. So by the time um, we're finished mixing the cake up, the oven will be ready. Okay. Of course, I have thoroughly washed my hands. Don't be in the kitchen with nasty hands, y'all. It's That's just nasty. And I'm not going to stop saying it. It's, it's just nasty. As a matter of fact, it's real nasty. Okay? All right. Okay, I talked about doing things a little differently. Um, mixing up a little differently with my cakes. And it's just something that I want to try for a while. And if I like it, you know, it's just something that I'll keep doing. You'll notice that I'm using my whisk attachment. Normally you use the, the blade, but I want to use the whisk attachment. I've used it a couple of times and um, because I'm going to start by really whisking this butter or whipping this butter I want to use the whisk attachment and I'm not gonna after whipping the butter change out and switch to the blade okay now that I've added my three sticks of softened butter I'm going to go on and add my extracts now I'm adding my extracts and my salt I'm adding about a tablespoon of this pure vanilla and that way all of my flavorings I'm adding them at the beginning of my process and that way they will be mixed in during this whole process of me mixing up this cake as opposed to towards the end. Okay? So that was the coconut, about a teaspoon of coconut. I'm going to use a couple of drops of my cream bouquet, maybe about a half teaspoon. And then I'm taking my half teaspoon of salt and we're just going to cream this butter by itself, not half teaspoon of salt, that was the last recipe, one fourth teaspoon of salt. Okay, one fourth teaspoon of salt. Okay, so we're gonna cream this butter, the extracts, and the salt for about four or five minutes. Okay, and then once that's done, I'm going to slowly start adding my sugar. And then we're gonna cream at least another six or seven minutes. So this process takes about 12 minutes for me to do. Now once it's creamed, I'm going to stop and come back because I need you to see the consistency and the texture of what we call um, creaming that butter and sugar because it needs to be light and fluffy. So I'm going to stop and I'll show you that um, once this is done, okay?
Now I did stop the mixer twice to scrape down my bowl. So make sure you scrape down your bowl because once that uh, mixer, when you see that the butter and the sugar is slung up against the side of the bowl, it's not getting creamed. So stop your mixer and scrape down, down the bowl. Now this is what we mean when we say light and fluffy. You see how fluffy that is? And you see how the texture has changed and even the color, it's lightened up. Okay? So that's what we're looking for. You cannot rush this part of baking a cake. You have to take the time to cream. So if you're impatient, uh, this isn't for you. <laughs> At least not this part because you can't rush it, you guys. You can't rush it. If you don't do this properly, it can make your cake dense. It can make it fall. You know, just really cause complications in your cake. All right. And then you notice also I um, put my coconut and my pecans in my Ninja and I pulsed it about 25 times and that's the consistency that I got. Okay. So now that's done. So what we're going to do next is, you guys, since I have this half cup of sour cream and then the buttermilk, I did go on. I started adding buttermilk to the sour cream and just start trying to kind of mix it together. So I wanted to mention that because when it's time for me to start adding the liquid part, I may forget to tell you that I did that and you guys be trying to figure out, okay, where's the sour cream or where's the... Okay, so I put all that in there together, in there together, and we're going to mix it up. Then I'm going to see if I can put it back in that measuring cup. All right. Okay, but we're not getting ready to fool with this right now. I just wanted to tell you that before I forgot. So now it's time to start adding our eggs. Now I'm going to add my eggs one at a time. Um, and I usually mix just a few seconds to get that yolk to where the yolk kind of disappears okay sometimes you see even a little bit of the yolk left but you don't want to over mix here and then once I add my eggs and then we're going to start adding the dry and the wet ingredients we're going to start with the dry being the flour we're going to end with the dry but I'm going to alternate using that mixture of the buttermilk and the sour cream okay now you're going to see me add some flour then you're going to see me add a little bit of that sour cream and buttermilk. I'm not going to show you that entire back and forth process. Then you'll see me adding just the last little bit of flour. And then the same with the eggs. You'll probably see me add the first, maybe second egg. But then you'll see me add the last, last egg. But remember, I added five. Okay? Oh, before I forget. Also, this is the time that you do not want to over mix. Once you start mixing up that flour and alternating with that milk, you want to just mix it just for a few seconds to get it incorporated. This part does not take as long as the creaming of the butter and the sugar. If you overmix, you can cause the same problems. Your cake could be dense. It can fall. All right, so don't overdo it. Don't do the most right here. Okay?
did stop the mixture mixer twice and I scraped down my bowl. And now I'm just gonna use my spatula and just mix a couple of more times to make sure everything is thoroughly incorporated. Making sure I scrape the bottom of this bowl as well. Can y'all hear that bird? Such a beautiful sunny day today. It's cold though. Okay. Now, I have thoroughly sprayed my pan. Thoroughly with Baker's Joy. Now I will admit, guys, this is the part that's gonna make me a little nervous, but you know, I've never done this before. But hey, this is what we're getting ready to do. So we're gonna take this one fourth cup of granulated sugar and we're gonna put it in the bottom of the pan. And then we're also going to get it on this tube, okay? You guys see what I'm doing? And I'm gonna get it kind of on the sides of the ooh, pan too, okay? Y'all see that? This is gonna Help give it that crunch, y'all. We're getting it all in here. Okay, I'm just trying to kind of get it as evenly distributed as I possibly can. Okay. See that? And you guys, we're getting ready to do that same concept with the pecans and the coconut. Okay? Oop. Don't throw it all over the counter, girl. Okay, so now I'm trying to get it even on the bottom of the pan. Okay, so now we're going to gently plop. This cake batter in here, being careful not to disturb. Do not let your pat your spatula touch the tube, and don't let it touch the sides of the cake pan. Okay? So be very careful as you're putting your batter in your cake pan. So now we're trying to smooth out the batter and get it as level and even as possible. Sometimes this can take a few minutes, so. Okay. 
hitting it under the bottom to release air bubbles. Okay. So we're going in. The oven is preheated to 325 degrees. I bake my cakes in the middle of my oven, so I adjust my racks or one of my racks to where it's in the, in the middle of my oven, and that's where I bake. So we're going to bake on 325. I'm going to set the timer for an hour and 15 minutes, but I'll probably check it right before then, okay? So now we're making our glaze, and normally don't measure. We're going to start with about one half cups or about one half cups of powdered sugar. I never use a mixer. I always do it by hand. And then we're going to add about four tablespoons of melted butter. I'm going to add just a little dab of almond extract. Just a little dab. And then a little bit of vanilla. And just a smidget of my cream blue cake. Okay, now I always start off when you're adding your milk, add just a little bit at a time because once you get it in, you can't get it out. Okay, and I like for it to be a little bit on the thick side in the beginning because that way I can mix it and get it smooth quicker if it's a little thick. Okay? Let me lift this up off this counter because honey that cake is in the oven. You can't be a bumping and a carrying on when that cake in the oven. Now I know your mamas and your grandmas and your aunties used to tell you that and your papas and grandpas and bake and cook. Don't you be bumping that oven. I got a cake in that oven. Don't be jumping around. Couldn't do none of that. <laughs> Don't be coming down and running down the steps so hard. Okay. You see how thick that is? And it's smooth. So now that it's smooth, I'm going to add just a little bit more milk to thin it out just a little bit. Sit that over here and it's a little thick. I still may add a little bit more milk. I want it a little thick because I'm going to put it on this cake when it's a little warmer than I normally do. Because I want the warm, that warm cake to kind of melt it so it'll just kind of ooze down the cake. All right. Okay. So that's good enough for now. And we have another. About an hour um, before the cake comes out. So we'll just wait. Okay, we have baked about an hour and 20 minutes. So now we're going to sit here and cool for about 10 minutes and pray. And when it's time to flip, that it will release with no complications. All right, it's been 10 minutes and we are flipping. I felt it release. That's a good thing. It looks like it's uh, crunchy. Some of it stayed in the pan. But that's okay. Let me show you. It's pretty. Look at 
सकते हैं See if I want to try to get that out and drizzle it on the cake. I guess it wouldn't hurt. Yeah. That make it look like it has a little, a little more texture on the top. So we're going to let it cool for a little bit before we glaze. I don't want it totally cool, but I want it, I don't want it this hot, okay? I let the cake cool for about 15 more minutes. I wanted it really, you know, I wanted it warmer than normal to put this glaze on it. And you guys, the the crumbly top, it does have that little sweet crunch to it from the sugar. Y'all, this is good. Okay, and you see how thick my glaze is. I told you I wanted it a little thicker. just to kind of run down and it's gonna continue to melt because the cake is still quite warm. Louisiana Crunch Pound Cake with a thick glaze. And you guys, it really is crunchy. I cannot wait to taste this. A little bit of, just a little bit of extra glaze down in the hole. But this, I mean, it really looks crunchy. Y'all, don't they look crunchy? It is time. If you guys are hearing a sizzle, those are my Tuna patties frying. Oh, Mister, and I want you to know. Uh, See, why is you all in front of the camera? Sir? I'm looking at the. I'm looking at the tuna <laughs> patties. I want you to know I have to keep my eyes on you because I mean? see how the last video you making all them faces What's and trying see? to act like you really want to share with me and you really don't. Y'all don't be seeing all that till I edit. He tell me you greedy, you greedy. That's what for do thou criticize me? Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Why do a thou criticize me? You look two faced still. I'm with you, baby. Why you keep me? No. <laughs> Put your head on the swivel. Your butt two faced. Oh, this look different. You know what? Hold on. Hey. I'm looking at it. It looks almost like a gingerbread. There you go. I mean, it looks like it from. Why don't you tell me what you taste? Hmm. Ooh, wee. Good. Tell me what you taste. I'm tasting. Tell me what all you tasting. Let's see if we can get it, you guys. It's graham cracker there? Graham? No. Graham ginger? This is, this, ooh. I don't know what I'm tasting, but I'm going to taste a lot of it. Let me tell you something. The Lord loves it. That's mm. the truth. Mm, mm, mm. I think that's good. Just the crust was. What you say? The what? Just the crust was good. I mean, y'all, it's like crust for real. Mm. Ooh, we. I'm tasting nuts on that pudding? Yeah. Mmm. Cocktail, mighty? 
Ooh, for y'all, he looks like you. Okay, what wait a minute. I'm trying to get a thumbnail. This is good. Oh, my goodness. Okay. What is this? Yeah, you're not even letting me taste it. <laughs> you probably made a face. You get on my nerves. I'm tasting coconut? Yes. Okay. Let me get these pears out of here. What else you tasting, babe? I'm tasting good. I know that much. Oh, Lord. It's called a Louisiana Crunch Cake. Louisiana Crunch Cake. Why Louisiana? Oh, okay. I don't know. God, oh my, this good. Is it good? Is You've not even let me taste it. Here you go, baby. Fix your face. I ain't even gonna Here turn my face. I don't need that. That's my cornbread. Okay, no, I'm not gonna get that. Mm -hmm. I just want to taste a little bit of the. Mm. You wash your hands. Mm hmm. God, oh my. this is good. Coconutty. Coconutty. Yeah. Pecani. Pecani. Yeah, I've tasted mm -hmm. those. But y'all hear him? Cause he didn't. He asked me when he came in. What kind of cake is it? I said, I'm not going to tell you. Mm. I would just want you to tell me what you're tasting when you taste it. And he said the crust was crunchy. Listen. So it's a Louisiana crunch cake. And the, the crunch on the outside is pecans and coconut. And then you put a sugar, you put sugar crystals inside the cake pan before you bake it. And then you put the pecans and coconut and then you pour the batter in there. Good Lord, true story. This is something good. It's good. good. Oh, y'all eat like this one. Oh, oh and it is. I mean, it is so. The, you see how the crust broke off? And you can see just it's so it's flaky. God almighty, mm -hmm. it's good. It is so, It. I mean, that is so crunchy, you guys. I mean, Louisiana crunch. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. I mean, I don't care for all. Oh, wait a minute. Look up. Look up under the glaze. Can y'all? I'm just trying to. Y'all see that? You can sure taste the coconut. Crunch up under there. Good gracious. This is something good. You like? Hey, I'm telling you. Hey. Look. Yay! Look. This need to go with. This is definitely an ice cream call right here. What you mean an ice cream call? You need ice cream with it? Mm-hmm. Oh, babe. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Mm. It's great. You what? See y'all. He be t doing better. Be like, listen. I am doing better. I can't tell. Don't you understand? Better don't mean all the time. You always say that when it's time for you to eat cake. But I was doing better till I ate the cake. I'm doing much better now. And that's what you're gonna say every time you eat cake. I'm doing better till I eat the cake. Well, so when you take it out of work tomorrow, you don't get any. Let me tell you something about them people I work with. I don't really care like that with him. They're over on the frame. I'm right? just saying, baby, them people like that don't matter. You think what I'm... What you mean they don't matter? Do you, you understand all the hard work you're going to do for me? To give that to them would be equivalent to me giving your love away. Girl, who I would you, never do who that. Who are you giving it to? Huh. you going to give it to somebody. Well... All this, this cake getting up out of here, y'all. Listen. Yeah, this got to go. It's got to go. For real. <laughs> for real, real. I do real bad with this. That's that's good. That was another talk, highly buddy. requested cake. I don't know what they do in Louisiana. Could, could, could you really tell it was pecans? Mm -hmm. Well, you say graham cracker. No, that's what I was saying. I, I, I was just coming. looking at the crust from from here. It's just pecan. looking at. And I'm okay. trying to get a, a guess, but that, I was able to taste. I said some nutty. It was because I posted. Yeah, it's so. God, it's good. Y'all, that's good. It is that good. is good. Okay. Really, that is really good. Mm -hmm. I believe Mama, Mama would have loved that. Good gracious. My mama would have liked this cake, y'all. She loved, she loved coconut. No, that's an ice cream call there. I promise you, if you a person that like ice cream cake, I promise you that goes, that bitch. Oh, I used to make that on like a Friday. No, I shouldn't have get on that in the morning. All right, you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. You guys, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you turn on your notification bell. That's hit the nosy. When you hit the nose, you know the bell shakes. That's to shake something. That's to shake something. Shake something. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, just shake something. Just shake something. So thank you guys so much for watching. We already look forward to you. Bye-bye.
just cleaning up a mess. We ain't gonna have no mess around here. Okay, I thought you was cutting some more cake. Joining us again next time. Yeah, clean. Bye. Oh, this is good. Ooh, wee. This is gonna be a problem right here.